Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your weekly news update. Hi, I'm Brittany Palmer with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini College. And I'm Casey Semenza, and this is your weekly news update. February marks the start of Black History Month. Student Diversity has kickstarted the month-long celebration by hosting an Empire TV Marathon and will be holding a cultural appropriation dialogue as well as a multimedia presentation about the Roaring Twenties of Harlem and more to come. Sounds like Student Diversity has a lot going on for this month. We can't wait to see all they have in store. Masquerade of Migration is happening at Cabrini College. This is an interactive event in which the carnival custom of mask wearing is incorporated into having discussions about different aspects of migration and enjoying pancakes. The event takes place Tuesday, February 9th at 6 p.m. in the Mansion Dining Room. We all know the popular phrase, Chipotle is life, but it was actually harming a couple. As the popular restaurant for Cabrini students, good news has surfaced that the E. coli outbreak linked to Chipotle is over, according to the CDC. The popular burrito chain's first outbreak affected 55 people in 11 states, while the second outbreak affected five people from three states. No exact cause was determined. There are so many organizations and clubs that students can commit to on campus, and the involvement fair can be a gateway to become a part of something truly extraordinary. Let's check out what some Cabrini students are involved in. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved, because I did. Um, the involvement fair helps us by like letting people know that we're a club and like helping us to get more people interested in it. Like we got a whole lot of whole lot of new signatures for uh, people interested in joining the green team. The involvement fair helps our club because it provides awareness to all the new students and transfers about our club because we're a really small team, so not a lot of people know about us on campus unless you come to the sporting event. So it's good like way to get us recognition out there. So Alpha Delta Gamma is a welcoming fraternity. You welcome anybody to join, you know, any male to join. For And if a lot of people out there wouldn't want to join a fraternity because they think, oh, you know, it's about hazing and, and derogative and everything. It's really not. It's not. It's, it's more of a, a learning process. Well, learning. so far we have, we had like a campus cleanup. Um, we put up some posters about like recycling, things like that. Um, but we're gonna be like trying to educate me people more about like the, like benefits of recycling and like different things like that, like what gets recycled. Our team dance is at all the sporting events on campus, mainly basketball and lacrosse. We dance at the Phillies game at Cabrini Day. We also are trying to compete and we dance at the 76er game. What first interest me in joining the fraternity year was my cousin Tierra. I got to know the president of the fraternity at the time, John McManus, and I hung out with him. Man, I pretty much liked what he was about with his friends and stuff like that. So he pretty much told me that's what the frat is about. So I figured, you know, I'll go out and see if I like it or not. And I wound up loving it. Well, I learned to join it because it's, you'll, know people you'll, you'll start to understand like people that you really wouldn't like to be seen with be the people that be like your best friends or like people that you can actually look up to and actually talk to about anything i invite people every day to come and join and just see what it's about because you never know you never know unless you try looks like there's something for everyone on campus so don't hesitate to get involved if you're looking for a way to celebrate the Chinese New Year, this weekend, Philadelphia will be ringing in the Chinese New Year with a vibrant parade and performance-based events. Head over to the Reading Terminal Market on Saturday to kick off the Year of the Monkey by tasting traditional Asian cuisine and taking in the vibrant decorations. On Sunday, Dilworth Park will be hosting the Midnight Lion Dance Performance starting at 10.30 p.m., which will include firecrackers, martial arts performances, and one memorable night. Want a fun way to celebrate Valentine's Day? On Thursday, February 11th, join fellow students in the Dixon House Lounge for a Valentine's Night Social. Light food will be served starting at 9 p.m. and dim delights will set the mood for a fun night. Dress to impress and meet some new friends or your next relationship, but everyone comes out a winner with a goodie bag filled with candy to take home. Thanks for tuning in to News on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Brittany Palmer. And I'm Casey Semenza. Have a great week, Cabrini. Mm -hmm.